you know that we're working on on the five elements of the Chinese medicine. We started not uh, well, we started with with water because it was uh, it was winter, but uh, from the yin yang, the two yang, <coughs> sorry, the two yang elements are wood, the energy of the spring. It's actually the one that should be done right now or what we feel right now, and fire. Fire is like the energy that we feel, the quality of the energy that we see or we feel in, in summer or at noon. And as Jose was saying, it's about, you know, this enthusiasm, this, this joy, this capacity to communicate, even to party, to dance. Uh, nowadays, because of the situation, I would say worldwide, the fire energy, the fire quality of the energy in, in general, is kind of weak or suffering because everything that boosts it, now it's forbidden, <laughs> you know, to, to hug, to go, to, da to dance, to move, to communicate, to socialize. Because if you remember when we talk about the water element, the water quality that was related to, was related to kidneys and urinary bladder, the main quality, it was about quietness, silence, stopping, going inwards. That's the yin element. The yang element, fire, is the opposite. We need both. It's not, because in, in the West, we always have like the good ones and the bad ones, not in Chinese medicine. Every single uh, element or quality of the chi is necessary. But now today we're going to work and talk about the yang, about the fire. And fire is like, okay, there's some time, and it's really important, especially because our society and, and the way that we live, it's very young, it's very active. Uh, the yin element in yin yoga, in meditation, in reiki, in qigong, in, in many different practices, is usually the, the center of the attention because it's usually the weak one, because there's always yang. But also, yang needs to be balanced because sometimes yang element is really misunderstood. And fire element is really misunderstood because some people believe that the fire element is, you know, the capacity of just having fun. And, and it's not about this. And in, in Chinese medicine, there are like different kind of uh, energies or even substances. They say that in the body exists like blood. We understand blood, so we don't need to talk about blood. Different fluids. We understand these fluids. We don't need to talk about these fluids. But then they say that the, it exists the Shen, the Jing, and the Qi. And for the Westerners, Shen, Jing, and Qi are totally unknown. The, the one that it's probably at least a little bit known is the Qi because we know it from Qigong, from Chinese medicine, from Reiki, from Aikido, and even in yoga that they call it prana, you know, it's the energy. And all the time we talk about this energy, but this energy is not one specific energy. It has different qualities and these different qualities are like the five elements that we work on. But then we also have the Jing and the Shen and the Jing and the Shen are really unknown. I remember once when, when I was in China doing uh, Qigong training, the, I was doing Qigong and Tai Chi and I was doing all the movement that he was, you know, teaching me. And, and he, he told me, the, my teacher told me, you, you know, Jordi, come, come here, come here. And he, he said, you know what Qi is? I said, yeah, yeah, Qi is like the energy. He said, okay, when you do movements, you need Qi. Otherwise, it's like you feel you're tired. It's like, if there's no Qi, there's no... So we know what's this chi, it's the vitality. When you feel, you know, that you're energetic, that you're full of life, this is the chi, okay. But then he said, even if you have the chi, a strong chi, you need to have jing. And jing is related to water element, is what is called the essence. And in, for the Westerners, he said, it's like goal oriented. The jing is like what's behind everything. And he said, when you do this movement, it's because you wanna stop your opponent from hitting you. So it's not just for making it beauty because then the opponent will hit you. It's like, okay, you need to know what you do. It's like you put the energy and you put the intention stopping. But then he said, but even if you put the energy and the intention, it's well done, but it's huh, well done. That's all. It's like someone dancing. She knows the steps, 
she do the steps, she does, she has the energy, she dances well, but it, it she, she doesn't catch your attention because it's just well done, but normal. But sometimes you, you see someone performing and it's like, oh, wow. This, oh, wow, is what they call the Shen. The Shen is the spirit. It's like, you know, these shining eyes, this person talking and, 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 and wow, and, and having this charisma and people wanted to listen to this person, even to touch this person. And nowadays to have an Instagram picture with this person. That, that's the Shen. And Shen is related to the heart. And sometimes the Shen is fully alive because the fire energy is strong and you can see it in the person and you say, wow, she, she, she's happy and she's full of life. And she, it doesn't matter if she's 90 years old or 12, but you can see it. there's something coming out. That's the spirit. Shen is translated as the spirit. And the, the, the spirit, the Shen is in the heart. And the fire element is in the heart. It rules the heart organ and the small intestine, but mainly the heart. And sometimes you see someone can be 12, can be 90, can be 20, can be 30. And it's like, he's gray. Gray is when the Shen is, is you know, is sick. When the fire energy is, is low, you do things, you work, you take care of your children, but, Life seems meaningless. It's like you just do things. For fire element, physically is related to heart, organ, the small intestine, and two more areas, let's say, or functions of the body. One it's pericardium that protects the heart, and the other one it's called triple warmer that keeps warm to the body. Triple, down, middle, and up. Because yes, we need meditation, we need silence, we need quietness, we need to recover. But when you recovered, it's for doing something. And that's the fire element. It's, 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 it rules the blood and the blood vessels. It, it has the Shen, it contains the Shen, it contains the spirit. But it's about communication. It's about meeting the other. It's about joy. Because life, uh, we know life that can, 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 can be sometimes hard and sometimes very, very, very hard. But in general, there are many, many happy moments. And, and sometimes there are like happy moments, but we don't have the mood. So we, we want to work with this. And the meridians, the pathways are in, you'll see in the upper part of the body that will work. But when you work with these meridians, remember this, you're not working only, you know, with your arms or with your elbow, with your hands on the, you, you work with this, you work with the Shen. And to me, at least is my experience as a therapist, the last couple of months, uh, the, the Shen is a bit low in general in people because of restrictions, because of, uh, well, this year and the last year in general is, is challenging because we cannot, we cannot uh, meet as we were used to it. And it's, it's difficult because sometimes we just lack joy. So that's the main characteristic is about joy. There's like a problem, and of course, as in every element, there's a problem with uh, the fire element that it can be balanced and then you're more or less a joyful person, focused, you wanna enjoy life, you wanna do things, you wanna talk to people, you wanna communicate, your brain, your cognitive systems more or less work, work well and you interpret the world around you well. Because in Chinese medicine, they say to be on the right place on the right moment is not about luck, it's about fire element. When the fire element is balanced, you read things. You understand, you read people, you read things, you read timing. When the fire element is unbalanced, it's like when you have bad luck in general, you're always late or you go there and then it's like, oh no, no, but she didn't want this or da, da, da. It's like, it's like you, you don't understand the language of life. But when your fire element is strong, you understand the language of life. Then it's like you can connect. And, and Nowadays, as I said, it's like uh, for some reason is is a bit is a bit low this energy, and and we want to to 
to have this energy back. So when you do the, the poses, when you work, you, you really want to think about this, to focus on this. If you think that, it, for example, in your in your life or for, for what you're experiencing now, uh, you're not enjoying much. It's not being happy all the time, but enjoying much. It's a, it's a really good practice. And as all the elements, as I said, it can be balanced that you see it this, or it can be uh, completely out of balance. And when it's out of balance, it can be both. This lack of that you feel it because it's like not a depression, but kind of low mood that you you don't laugh much, you don't you don't tell jokes, you don't relax, you you don't want to talk to anyone, uh, you feel lonely, it's like okay, but also it can be it can be imbalanced uh, for uh, having too much fire. And it happens because it's uh, it's an element that when it's imbalanced, sometimes the experiences that you have are kind of pleasant somehow so that you don't see it because when the water element is not balanced and you feel you know tiredness and fear as you don't want to feel tiredness and fear it's like okay you know that you need to do something when boot element is this block or in or in balance, you feel this rage, this angry, and it's not it's not a nice feeling, nice emotions. So you want to do something. When the metal element is in balance, you can feel you know this this melancholy, this deep sadness, sorrow inside. So it's like it's not it's not nice. You want to do something, but sometimes when the fire is in its height and it goes on top and more and more and more up, it burns the body. For example, what what is like uh, when people have a strong anxiety or agitation or uh, disturbed sleep, they say that the Shen is, is, is all over the place. So we need what in Buddhism they call like the middle way. And in Spanish, we call it ni tanto ni tampoco, which means not the... Not, uh, uh, I don't know how to translate this, <laughs> but it's like not too low and not too high, just in the middle. In the Shen and in the fire element, this is very important because it's it's it, when the, the fire element is very low, you lack joy for living. And when the fire element is too, too, too high, uh, you're dangerous to yourself because usually it's like about, you know, about having fun all the time, not giving you a rest. Usually people who have like a, a too strong fire, they, they are kind of addict to everything that gives them, you know, like caffeine or smoking or drinking alcohol. It's like, okay, it's partying all the time, all the time, all the time. And then at the end you have like what it's called like a burnout in the, in the body because the fire was like too much. So it burned all the other elements. So remember that we always talk about balance and balance is like not, not too low, not too high. So you need to see yourself because we are like different people and different situations, different moments. So for some people, their fire is here and you can know it because you can ask the question, am, am I really enjoying life right now? I mean, it doesn't mean to be the happiest person in the world, but are you enjoying life? If the answer is yes, are you a bit too much, too all over the place? If the answer is no, I don't think so, your fire is okay. Do I talk too much? Maybe my, my friends say that I, 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 I never stop talking and I talk a bit too fast. Okay, you need to slow down a little bit. Do I talk too much? No, I don't say anything. I feel really lonely, I'm depressed. Okay, your fire is weak. So we need to work on this and put it on the center. When, because when it's in the center and all the chi, all the qualities of the chi, all the elements are in the center, life is okay. We can handle challenges. We can handle ups and downs. And normally if people ask us to the question, are you happy? People answer, yes, I am. That's when everything is balanced. And I think everybody wants this. Everybody wants to answer, yes, I am, to the question that if you're happy.
happy doesn't mean laughing all the time. Because if you lose someone, you, you, you won't be laughing. You will be grieving, which is one of the qualities. But you know, you grieve, but you don't go too low. It's like, okay, it's a process. But in general, you, you accept and you enjoy life. And then it's like, okay, it's, it's what I want. I want to be, you know, balanced. Because balance is this, it's the capacity of living life in a compassionate way in a calm way, but at the same time, enjoying what you do, enjoying the conversations, enjoying your time with yourself, enjoying your time with, with friends, enjoying, enjoying even your, your, uh, your thoughts, your readings. And this is what we're going to work today. As Jose said, maybe it's not the right time yet, because now it's time for boot. It's time when the, the young energy starts. It's the boot element. But when we reach summer, it's like the time to do this. But I think even if it's not the right time nature-wise for the situation, it is the right time because many people are down. One of the, one of the, the things that we can see is that now we're all, we all are doing this practice together and but we do it here in Zoom. No, and you really need to feel the people because it's about connecting with people. So it's, I, I really think it's a good time to work with the fire element because normally, at least before the pandemic, it was the problem of fire. It was like some people had too much fire. But now I think that we need to put some wood on the fire because it needs to, you know, it needs to get a little bit stronger. Physically, as I said, we'll work with the, with the heart organ and the small intestine organ. The meridian, Jose, will explain to you a little bit. But the fire element is probably, all the elements are important, but every element has like two main meridians. And the fire element has four main meridians. In Chinese medicine, they say that it's because fire element has the Shen and the Shen is the spirit. And the spirit is really the most important element because it's what makes us human, make us to be alive. So it would be like really the heart, the core of the energy, which is the center 